YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, it's your boy Pat Coltrane. What's up with your baby Bubba? I said baby Bubba. What's up with you? Good morning. Good morning. I'm back. I'm back. With a little bit of Monday morning clarity. It used to be this uh Panther web page back in the day. It used to be Monday morning optimistic, something like that. And I felt like I needed to do this. Y'all. Um yesterday I wasn't as excited as I should have been. Y'all heard me as I should have been. Mainly because I didn't get the win that I want us to get. But I'm used to that. I'm a middle child, so yeah, I act like that sometimes. But I had time to sit back, reflect, rewatch the game, look at the stats, y'all. And I was thinking about this yesterday, right after the game. This team might be a problem. This team might be a problem, yo. I'm watching this defense. They so freaking fast and young, yo. Like, we had a nice defense in 2015. And I ain't trying to compare this team to this 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 defense to that defense yet. But looking at this defense, man, this junk could be a problem. This feels no defense. I don't know why I took this old man so long to find a, a job in the NFL. But this defense, man, this thing could be really, really nasty, dawg. We already know about Brian Burns, okay? But nobody knew Shaq was gonna act up like that. You acting different. Shaq, you acting different. Nobody knew at, uh, Shaq Thomas was gonna act like that. I'm gonna tell you one more thing. I ain't know Daquan Jones was gonna go like that. Go back and watch that game, man. Daquan Jones really that answer that De uh, Derek Brown needed. Daquan Jones really that answer, dog. Derrick Brown was going smooth off in that game. And watch the ground Daquan Jones in that run game. We getting that pressure in the in the interior that I needed, that I wanted. Early on, I couldn't really tell, but after rewatching that game, we we gave them fits. Ain't that what they be saying? We gave them fits. This front seven is a problem. I was a little bit worried. I thought Jermaine Carter was going to be the best linebacker out there. I was prepared. Everybody was prepared. Everybody had gave this team to Jermaine Carter. We sorry, Shaq. I said we sorry, Shaq. Shaq definitely balled out. Shaq Thompson, you balled out. Hassan Reddick. Man, we bringing that heat, dog. Like, I don't know what to say. We bring that heat off the edges. Hassan Reddick was just dancing over there, dog. Dancing. Opposite of Burns. They was all over. The, I ain't know what who played what. I ain't know who played linebacker. I ain't know who played defensive end. Especially with, with the Yitor. They had Yitor inside, outside. Outside, inside. This mug dangerous. So freaking dangerous. And don't forget Marquise Haynes. Still consistent. St still bringing that heat. Now he's starting to show out in this in Phil Snow defense. He's showing out in Phil Snow defense. Yo, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. This junk's scary. This junk's scary, man. Like, I'm really in awe. These DBs, and look, I know a lot of folks. D Jack missed one tackle yesterday. Like, you know, he was kind of off a little bit, and everybody thought he was getting a little, little bored. But that whole game, D Jackson was playing like he was six foot. Big body. D Jackson was balling. Balling. I know a lot of people bringing up JC Horn and that touchdown he allowed. But look at what? Look at the touchdown. He was on him. He was on him. It was good coverage, just a better pass and a better catch. In the run game, JC was sealing the edges and all kinds of junk. Man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. 
I don't like this. These DBs is a problem. Jeremy Chen didn't look like the best DB, and I ain't saying that he looked bad, but he wasn't. It didn't feel like he was carrying the team. It didn't feel like he was carrying the team. I feel like everybody, everybody good. Everybody good. I ain't got no complaints. I ain't got no complaints. Now, let me let me just just to give y'all idea. In the preseason, we were so excited about Frankie Louvu. Frankie Louvu. We want to see Frankie Louvu on this team. We want to see. We thought Frankie Louvu was like the best linebacker, like the best defensive player. Like, I ain't saying all y'all thought that, but yo, this team is a problem. Like they they really really fast and nasty. We saw in the second half it did get a little bit more. You know, they seemed like they started to get tired and get a little bit run down, but um, they held their ground. They held they hit they held their ground. I ain't got no complaints. No complaints. Offense wise. Offense wise. I know Joe Brady getting beat up right now. And, and I know I've been picking on Joe. You know. I know I've been uh picking on slow Joe. Okay, they ain't slow talking Joe. I ain't gonna need I ain't gonna disrespect Joe Parsons like that. This ain't he ain't slow talking Joe. I ain't gonna pick on him. But even with Joe Brady calls. And it seems like he don't know what he's doing. This offense looked all right, man. I know, I know. It's just the Jets. It's just the Jets. But what I saw yesterday, what I saw yesterday, this offense could be a problem, man. If Joe Brady can come along, give look, I'm gonna give Joe Brady a little bit more time. I'm gonna give a little bit more time. My thing with Joe Brady is I don't like what the NFL tried to do with him. I think if the NFL allowed Joe Brady to come in and grow, they allow him to come in and grow, prove himself, and you know, and give him a chance to make those mistakes. I think I'd be all right with that. But the fact that they, this man gets head coaching interviews, this man has is moving up the ranks so fast, further faster than any other uh, offensive coordinator for no reason i think that's what it is but i feel like if joe brady was a new nfl offensive coordinator that nobody really pay attention to he probably wouldn't get beat up like this he probably wouldn't get beat up like this so joe i'm gonna give you a pass man i'm gonna give you a pass because like i said it's monday monday morning clarity i know i'll be beating folks up and i just be i'll be feeling bad because that's what the pastors do to me shoot they abuse me then the next morning say hey man we saw it so that's what i do <clears throat> So, I know I be beating you up pretty bad, man. You're a young offensive coordinator. Get right. Outside of Joe Brady and this offensive line, I'm going to say the offensive line for last. This offense that we got, y'all, it could be a problem, man. I know people don't like the overuse of C-Mac, but if he getting it done, I don't, uh, I don't see the problem. You know what I'm saying? C-Mac getting it done. That ain't C-Mac fault. That ain't C-Mac fault. I feel like, and I talked about this a little bit yesterday, Sam Darnold wasn't really going through his reads like that early on. But then we started to see it second second quarter, third quarter, he was a little bit, he was doing a little bit. But then I think once the rush started getting to him, he started getting a little bit shaken up. So he couldn't really do much more. He, he kind of went back into that, you know, that Sam Darnoldness. But I think once Sam Darnold continued to get comfortable, I feel like we could have been further ahead if he would have played more, but that's neither here nor there. I believe if Sam Darnold get comfortable, he gonna be a problem. What Sam Darnold did yesterday was A1. He didn't make any, he didn't try to force anything. Even though he, he made the harder throws, I don't think he forced anything though. I, I mentioned that. He made the harder throws, he made the worse decisions, but he didn't force anything. He didn't make any mistakes. No interceptions, I'm good with that. No interceptions, I'm good with that. That fumble, hey, it is what it is. It was fourth and one. It probably been a turnover anyway. You probably wouldn't even made it fourth. I mean, we still won. So I, I ain't gonna put that. I'm not gonna put that fumble on you. I'm not gonna put it on C Mac. I'm not gonna put it on the tight end y'all had back there. I ain't gonna put it on nobody. That fumble was a fumble. We still won. I ain't gonna worry about it. But as far as those throws he made, I'm good with that. DJ still balling. Robbie Anderson still balling. Terrace Marshall, this boy, he out there playing like a vet. Like we 
like for real they they really even though he's like the third receiver i think they really depend on him like he been in this league for real for real now um i'm still being i'm still being optimistic here when it comes to this offensive line this offensive line if they if they can get a little bit better a, just get a little bit better that's all i'm asking because they was they was kind of bad yesterday it was kind of bad yesterday cam irvin y'all cam irvin got beat so bad on one play it was the play um i think it was the play was it the play that he threw at the robbie oh, no it wasn't that. it was one play no no it wasn't that play it was one play he got beat so bad y'all it was scary bad it was scary bad y'all worried about the left side the right side ain't looking all that either man go watch the go watch the game the right side collapsed a few times go to the right it might be on this right here no dana but anyway the, the right side collapsed a few times so this offensive line it still got a long ways to go um but i feel like if we ever if we get it right this season if this offensive line can get it right this season we're gonna be a problem y'all i really do believe we're gonna be a problem um I, I i really do believe like i'm almost starting to believe maybe we can win this division man look that's all I, i'm gonna i'm gonna say that now if they make me look crazy later it's gonna be a, be a problem but i really feel like we can win this division man because we starting slow and if this is slow um i'm glad we started with the jets get a little confidence built but uh i feel good man i feel good about this team um even though i didn't get the win that i wanted i didn't get the win that i wanted but we got the w you know what i'm saying we won and oh we woke up one and oh that feel good y'all that feel good man and you should feel good panther nation bump that i want to win by 35 it wasn't gonna happen that was asking too much for the for the little babies that was asking too much for the churn but we got the dub man and that's all you can ask for that's all we can ask for um i'm excited about my team i'm excited i'm excited to see what we're going to do the saints up next the preview coming tuesday wednesday night at seven o'clock we're going to talk about it um i saw somebody say they wanting to start calling in so i'm gonna try to figure out a way to have calling in because as y'all can see i'm using a new software so i want to make sure that um I want to make sure that I can accept calls, so that will be coming back soon. I might even, I might even start doing a little link thing, like where you can link in and join my live or whatever, kind of like what C3 be doing. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just worried, man. Some crazy folks out there. I'm, that's all I'm saying. Um, that's pretty much it, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, Panther Nation. Hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Pat Coltrane. Hit me up on Twitter at Pat Coltrain. If you want to support the channel, you can always hit the cash app, dollar sign the train stop, or you can hit the PayPal, paypal.me backslash Pat Coltrane. Panther fans. Listen here, man. We're going to be all right, yo. I already, I already played it. Y'all know the theme. Y'all know the theme. I can't play it right now because I don't want to get no copyright strike. I be getting copyright strikes for that. This feel good, though, Panther fans. You hear me? All right, catch y'all later. Let's go.